can I just say, at no point during that race, <laughs> any point by the final probably 10 metres, I thought Magnus Finn would be winning. Williamsburg has loomed up as the winner. We know absolutely loves the sting out of the track. I know a star who you can hardly see there in the blue and yellow looked the winner probably up until about the 100 metre mark when these started to loom in. But lifted over the line and too good late. What a courageous effort it was to have to cut up the field and then just was there to be beaten the whole entire straight. I thought uh, it was a really good effort there by Magnus Bin. The last time I saw a heavy track at one, so probably should have taken that more into consideration, especially on that testing ground at Newcastle. Well, let's have a look at the replay uh, with I Know A Star going out and the same usual tactics as what it does is lead at these fast paces. So this was Magnus Bin um, following that fast tempo. So Rachel King on I Know A Star at the 800 really up the tempo here so she looked to just steal it around between that eight to the four and then probably want to hold on there but Magnus Spin was there chasing comes out and look on the straight it only looked to be plugging as you said Benny there and it just lifted itself off just kept fighting all the way to the line and Williamsburg in the aqua colors the aquas colors comes out and just looks to have the race cold here but peaks on its run there late so that's six to the four in the 1209 and then it's headed here between that four to the two and the 1235 but as we can see in this final last 200 metres, the 1308 so it goes up to the fourth fastest final 200, it's just strong enough through the line here, so Hollywood Hero was good um, all the way to the back, very run to suit, but uh, it was a solid enough effort there, and Tavi Time um, I don't know what to make of its run Like it was well back, started at $1.95 mm. um, but we'll get to that runner pretty soon, so have a look at the race shape so the 1600 metre comparison so they're completely different Scarlet Oaks, as I said before, went at a very slow tempo, so Magnus Spin for that first 1,000 metres went 27 and a half lengths faster and then the overall time was about 11 and a half lengths quicker. So I just want to note though the deterioration throughout the day and looking at historically the sample um, against the later races on the day with the margin spread as well, did rate slightly lower than they probably should for standard. But with that said, it was a great effort by Magnus Spin. As I said, the 13.08, here's where Williamsburg looked to win the race, that four to the two and the 12 flat. Hollywood Hero, fastest last 600 clearly across the board there. And Tavi time, so that six to the 200, it ran one of the fastest splits there and then just completely um, stopped there over the 13.2. So maybe the heavy ground, which... Um, Profile-wise, I thought she would handle, he would handle it, um, but just didn't go on with it there. Magnus Bin 1308, Hollywood here at the 1297, and I also want to be really forgiving of Grabini. Copped a check at the top of the straight and just couldn't recover off after that on the heavy ground. Yeah, I did think maybe with Tavi Time and Grabini, probably both in the same camp, that I know a star might have been the thorn in their side. Yeah, had that have point. been a, a standard race, you know, with leader. Yep. outside leader they all track up and it's a spurious sprint they're probably in the yep. race yep. but just with it broken apart they were left doing too much work you saw that with the breakdown of tabby time yeah it spent all this petrol getting into the race yep. yeah yeah no that's a good point yeah i definitely could say that in the high pressure maybe that more even tempo suits tabby time